down. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, what you working on? Let's go! Phenomenal win. You should be proud of yourselves. Now let's get to work so we can keep this positive energy. We're getting very little production out of these fast break opportunities. So, we're gonna work on that. Today, we're gonna work on being more efficient at running our breaks.
get started, man. Let's get started. Hey, hands up! Do it! Hey, hey, hey yo, 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 Get out there and put up some more shots.
Team Alexis. I I'm sorry, Elijah One Dream. She is a tough coach to play for. <laughs> this is true. This is true. With one week left in season four of. There's a look at the lights of Midtown Manhattan as we get set for basketball here in the Big Apple. Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Joined by Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. Ali, take it away. Well, guys, Paul George heard the critics. He said the only way I could respond was to get better, to come back with a vengeance. I didn't like that people saw weakness. I had to answer that, and it fueled me. I wanted to come back and be myself again. Brian? Well, he's playing at a tremendous level, Allie. Thanks for that. And Smitty, tonight's game features two outstanding front courts. What makes for an effective big tandem, you think? I think the best combos complement each other's talents. Also, they play off one another. On offense, one can go inside, one can go outside. And on the defensive end, if you have both guys that are interchangeable and can guard multiple positions, that's what makes it great. So here's the Clippers starting group. Kawhi Leonard out there with Paul George. Then there's Eric Bledsoe. Then there's Reggie Jackson. And it's Zubats in at the center, locking down the middle. And for New York, Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. Derrick Rose is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Robinson in at the center position. Bledsoe can't get it to go. Quickly outside. Shoots over George. And it's quickly with a miss. George passes to Bledsoe. Robinson with the block. Kicks it to quickly. Zubac with the steal. Leonard with the ball. Randall's in his pocket. Jackson can't get it to go. Quickly against Leonard. Rose right side. That shot is off. Great D that time from Zubats. Pass to Leonard. Takes a three. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Love the focus Leonard has at the arc. He won't take shots he doesn't like. You have to feel a bit for Paul George. Had a rough go of things ever since he labeled himself playoff P. He knows he'll have a spotlight on him because of that moniker. Now here's Leonard. A guy this team turns too often. Averaging almost 24 a game. Now here's Zubats. Pass to Leonard. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by Robinson. And with George, he caught flack for that. But he used the noise as motivation, Smitty. And it pushed him to some of his best basketball yet. Paul George always shows up in the playoffs. But he'll need to win a title to lose the doubters once and for all. At the line for the Knicks, Emmanuel quickly. At the line, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And quickly drops them both. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Leonard against Barrett. The turnaround. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. And he lobs it up top. And they pick up two. And setting the tempo with an assertive move like where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's George. His last outing, he had 20. Robinson with the block. Quickly outside. 
Pass to Rose. Here's Barrett. Outside Robinson. Rose outside. Shot clock at five. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Bledsoe outside. Two minutes remaining. In the they break. need this. Two minutes. And the layup is good. You don't see guards with Bledsoe's strength too often. Part of what makes him so unique. New York calls timeout. Well, you want to talk loaded college teams? Eric Bledsoe played with some serious talent during his one year in school. Bledsoe went 18th overall in the 2010 draft. He was the fourth selection from his school. Now, John Wall went first overall, DeMarcus Cousins fifth, and Patrick Patterson 14th. But I'm happy I never had to face that squad when I was in college. All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on again, pal, for your next... Your next city dancer. Ends up going with a whole new group. The Knicks with the lead. 151 left to play in the first quarter. To the paint. And Fournier with the basket. On the assist by MP. What a read by MP. Sees the D out of position, makes the P, and creates a wide open bucket. Here's Mann. Here's Batum. He's averaging almost five points a game. Let's go with a three. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. The Knicks have gone three of six since the tip. Here's Craig. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Elbow. Two. At the line for the Knicks. Tory Craig at the line, two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. He does not get the second one. And with Nick Batum, he's a very aware player. Always seems to make the right choice, Grant. I mean, he has a great assist-to-turnover ratio for his entire career. And it seems like he just gets better as he ages. Batum is simply a smart player who keeps things simple. And he comes up with a bucket. I'll tell you, Jackson's first step is dynamite. A big asset off the dribble. Outside Burks. Pass to MP. Here's Toppin. Back to MP. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Inside the paint, MP looks fearless, doing whatever it takes to find his shot. Here's Hardenstein, covered by MP. Here's Mann. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. Shooting for play, Reggie Jackson. One shot.
that one falls for Jackson. You know, he was the 24th pick in 2011. I think it's safe for us to say Jackson's outplayed that draft slot. Outside Burks, MP right side. Pass to Toppin. Fournier for three. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. It's the Knicks up by two. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And the 25th pick in 2020, Emmanuel quickly made an immediate impact with his shooting, including his deadly floater. I feel like I developed it kind of at a young age. Uh, I wasn't always the most athletic, um, so having skill was really important. So just having that floater that I can use over a big man is really vital. Well, Grant, those silky floaters don't always make the highlight reels, but my goodness, are they impressive. <laughs> B.A., for a lot of players, that's a bad shot, but it's when he's worked at and perfected over time. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Marcus Morris out there with Isaiah Hartenstein. Then it's Terrence Mann. Then it's Duncan Robinson. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. And Smitty, there are plenty of good teams in the league. Not many great teams, though. How do you define that, partner? Do you have to win a title to be great? Well, I don't think so. B.A. obviously championships matter. But I think being consistent. Look at the Steve Nash Suns, teams that have competed for titles over a sustained period. You have to take pride in that, too. Noel, he's checked in for New York. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Now here's Craig inside. The kick out to Fournier. New York no good that time either. The Clippers trail. Here's Robinson. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. And here's MP to the right side. Now here's Noel. Back to MP. Pass to Burks. Deflected! Burks against Robinson. Here's Mann. Robinson with it. Here's Hartenstein. Noel covering. Back to Robinson. Three-pointer. Count it. One for one to start the game. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. This game against Los Angeles here. Their first look at the Clippers. In two games last season, they had a hard time against this team, both at home and on the road. They really dominated them on both sides of the ball. We'll see if they have their number again this year. defense the Clippers they haven't allowed any points in the second quarter and a big finish by Robinson the great read between those two guys the defense didn't stand a chance B.A. these two teammates right here Grant they are connected 
Now here's George. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Now Zubats. Four on the clock. A shot from the high post. Quickly with a rebound. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Pass to Rose. Randall outside. Back to Rose. Shoots over Bledsoe. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got his fourth rebound in this one. Two minutes. To the middle. George against Randall. George's shot is off. The Knicks have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. And with Paul George Grant, you know what he delivers. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production from him. And for the Clippers, they're shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. On the wing, Bledsoe, guarded by Quickly. Bledsoe, pass to Leonard. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. You see the focus from Kawhi. When he's deep inside, he's locked in on scoring. Quickly passes to Randall, and here is Barrett. Pass to Rose. Six on the shot clock. Here's Quickly. No good there. And Los Angeles the other way now. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, but even though they were off all night, there was still a silver lining for them. They showed their resourcefulness to keep it tight. It's a testament to their character. They never gave up and fought their way back into it. They have to be happy with that at least. And here are the Knicks now. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Bledsoe against Rose. Great D that time from Zubats. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Leonard against Quickly. And Leonard, here we go. Over Quickly. Leonard can't get it to go. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Clippers ahead. Up one. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. as we get into this third quarter as we've seen so far neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard inside we have Randall and Robinson Emmanuel quickly is out there with Derek Rose and it's Barrett in at the three slot that's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half and it's quickly with a miss the Clippers in the lead Jackson finds Bledsoe over Rose Bledsoe can't get it to go. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Stolen by Jackson. In transition, here come the Clippers. And the jam by George. Insane move by Paul George. A high flyer who can create in midair. Pass to quickly. Rejected by George. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Jackson outside. Now here's Bledsoe. Guarded by Rose. Just five on the clock. A nice shot by Zubas. Zubas. Now it's a five-point Clipper lead. They have no answer defensively inside. Quickly, outside. Back to Rose. Randall outside. Get 
Can't hit that one. And George with some nice D. Jackson outside. Pass to Leonard. Bledsoe with it. Jackson with it. He's got five. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Leonard's got eight points. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. Timeout called. The Knicks. And everyone knows what an elite defender Kawhi Leonard is. I mean, he's a former defensive player of the year, and he can still shape games with his defense. Your Knicks City Dancer. Your Knicks City Dancer. Going with almost an entire new group here. MP's checked in for Robinson. Noel comes in for Julius Randle. Craig is checked in for Quickly. And it's Burks in for Rose. And with Leonard, he's just as sharp as ever with his stifling defense. Oh, his versatility is incredible. I mean, he can guard the toughest forward or guard each game. And he still has the energy to go out there and get numbers on the offensive end as well. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Hartenstein. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. And they recover it. Second shot opportunity. And he lays Marcus it up and in. Senior. And now a 10-point Clipper lead. And offensively, it appears they've hit their stride. Now Noel to the inside. MP the pass to Craig. To the left wing. And it's going to be a three-second three call. Second violation. Clippers ball. And here are the Clippers now. Right now on a 9-0 run. Down low. And Hartenstein gets it to Hartenstein. go. Whatever they did right in the first half defensively, we're not seeing it now. MP outside. Clock keeps going. Two Three minutes, minutes into the second half now. Two minutes. Pass to Craig. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Here's Jackson. Five points in the game. Now here's Robinson. A minute 35 left in the third. Here's Hartenstein. Six to shoot. Here's Batum. Over Craig. Batum shot is off. Jackson against Barrett. The rebound by Jackson. Los Angeles has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. He takes it in. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Aggressive on the drive. That's going to result in some free throws for Jackson. Reggie Jackson at the line. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. So for the Knicks. Toppin, he's checked in for Noel. And Fournier is subbed in for Craig. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Mann's checked in. And so Jackson nails both of them. And here is Burks. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. To the middle. To the inside. Here's MP. 
It's hauled in by the Clippers. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Toppin's shot is off. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. To the paint. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. A little oh, undersized Terrence at the four, but he can get off the ground. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Burks finds MP. Inside. Oh, and the dunk by MP. If MP's got a chance to do some damage at the rim, you better believe he's going to take it. He's not a guy who just plays it cool. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. And so it's Los Angeles in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. Defense is setting the tone. More 2K action in just a moment. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Very unselfish. If you appreciate teamwork, this is the kind of play that will get you up out of your seat. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Paul Eric George. Bledsoe is out there with That's Terrence Mann. Right. Then there's Eric Ivica Zubats. Then there's Paul George. And it's Leonard in at the three. Here's Rose. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Rejected by George. Not going to be Paul George with that move. He's too long and too talented of a defender. Pass to Mann. Leonard outside. George passes to Leonard. Five on the clock. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And the Clippers lead by 20. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And there's the lob. And a big finish by Robinson. Tremendous vision D. Rose has, always finding ways to make an impact. Rose against Bledsoe. Pass to George. There's the three. Nails it from oh, beyond George. the arc. George has got five points now this quarter. And he's not taking it easy on them at all. I mean, we all know he's going to keep pouring it on. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Now here's Rose. Now here's Quickly. Back to Barrett. Fires the three. They get the rebound. Toppin. There's the block. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubats. Julius Randle's checked in for Toppin. New York Knicks. Julius Randle. Here's Barrett. Doesn't go that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. After this game, they can look forward to Washington, where they'll match up against the Wizards. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Now here's Robinson. Here's Quickly. On the mark with the 15-footer. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. 
Los Angeles has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Leonard against Robinson. Now here's Leonard. Not a lot of room. Good work defensively by Robinson. For New York, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Rose, the pass to Barrett. Here's Randall. And he can't get that one. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Leonard outside. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Randall pulls down the board. And the Knicks shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. Back to Rose. Down low. Now here's quickly. Pass to Barrett. All sorts of time. And the jumper is on the mark. Yes. This is what you do when your opponents try to take away the three and the painted area. George passes to Zubats. And here's Bledsoe. Oh, and he got Nick's fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first. It's going to go on R.J. Barrett. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Clippers? What tremendous passing we've seen from them today. A very unselfish performance all around. Something else, guys, they've done all through this one is knock down the mid-range jumper whenever they have a chance. First free throw is good. And the NBA and its players taking an active role socially. Grant, talk about what you're seeing now and how it registers with you. Well, you know, it's exciting, it's inspiring, it's patriotic. It's what America is, being able to exercise your voice and helping to form a more perfect union. So that's what it's all about, and I'm excited for the league and its players, and it's inspiring, like I said. A minute and a half left in the fourth quarter. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Clippers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And this will give them win number 32 on the year so far. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means Next a lot to this team. And we get spoiled sometimes. But we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Paul George. You know, he was flying around on both ends of the floor. Terrific energy and enthusiasm. And that rubbed off on his teammates. I thought he was a catalyst tonight. Ibaka, he's checked in for the Clippers. Johnson comes in for Bledsoe. And here are the Knicks now. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Burks passes to Noel. Here's MP. Lays it up and banks it in. One positive takeaway. At least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. And the Clippers with the ball. Following the bucket by the Knicks. The shot by Johnson. No good. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To the inside. Here's Noel. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Now Johnson. So no problem for the Clippers as they get the win. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.
Welcome to an all-new episode of NBA 2K TV. We have an amazing show for you this week, so let's jump right in. First up, All-Star and NBA legend Charles Oakley just released... The always busy and popular East 4th Street here in Cleveland. Our setting today is just at the end of that block. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Big man Jarrett Allen challenges all high flyers at the rim. He said nobody likes getting dunked on. People call it a business decision. I don't think about that. My role is to be a rim protector, so I'm going to sacrifice for the team. Whether it's a block or a dunk, either way, I'll be on a highlight. It's a good way of thinking about it. Guys? Absolutely, David. He knows his role, doesn't he? Thanks for that report. Should be a very tactical game tonight. Both teams, Greg, relying on execution in the half court. Yeah, and the, that requires ball movement, player movement. You can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Derrick Rose is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Robinson in at the five. And for the Cavaliers... The guard set is Garland and Sexton. Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. And it's a Coro in at the small forward position. So Cleveland will get the first possession. And here is Garland. Passes it to a Coro. Feeds to Mobley. It's rebounded by New York. On the wing quickly. Outside Rose. Back to quickly. Three pointers off the mark. 
And, and it's rare to find a young big man with such an advanced skill set. Mobley can handle the ball like a small forward, has a smooth shot and, and great range. And, and drawing first blood, you know coach likes that momentum out of the gate. Well, for us, it'll be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? And so it's the Cavaliers getting on the board first. And as much as Mobley helps you out in the offensive end, Greg, he can get you stops as well. Yeah, I mean, he's got great instincts with quick reflexes that can slide his feet on the perimeter and has great timing as a shot blocker. I mean, what else do you need? Here's Allen after R.J. Barrett's bucket. Bucket six. And that one drops. Oh, and about the soft touch there from Sexton. Big athlete, but showing now he's got a feathery touch. Randall. And Randall throws it down. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Garland, the pass to Allen. And here's Sexton. He kicks to Okoro. Here's Mobley, and he gets it to go. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Here's Barrett after the made shot from Evan Mobley. And it's Barrett penetrating, and that one drops for him. Barrett's got his second basket of the night. Well, RJ is a natural scorer. It's very hard to shake him off that kind of focus. Here's Sexton. It's rebounded by New York. Last time they met in New York. The, the failure to make shots on a consistent basis, that, that's going to put you behind the eight ball all night. Well, the defense against them had a little something to do with it, but you still got to go out there. You got to find a way to get good looks. You got to keep working the system. And quite frankly, they just couldn't do that. Now, here's Akora after R.J. Barrett's miss. Akora with it. Robinson on him. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Pass to quickly. This one for three. Good on the three-point shot. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Cavaliers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Garland, the pass to Allen. Dishes to Sexton. Stolen by Quickly. Here's Rose. And there's two there points. Goes. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And this is what Rose brings to the table. When he gets out in the open court, he doesn't take his foot off that pen. Count that one for Mobley. Mobley. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Paul's time out. for the Knicks. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for New York. The pass to MP. Down low. 
Here's Toppin. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. One thing MP's always had is a great feel for the game. He doesn't need to see a pass like that. He just feels it. Now, here's Markinen. Taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. Cleveland moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. A three-pointer off the mark. The Knicks leading by three. About three seconds between shot and game clock. MP against Love. On the wing, MP. Back to Burks. New York needs to get off a shot. Count that bucket. MP, some found money for this team. MP saving that possession. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Knicks lead by five. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Cleveland. Well, we know that Colin Sexton is an efficient scorer. He shed some light on the mentality that's made him successful. I feel like I've just been calm and letting the game come to me and not trying to force anything and just getting shots that uh, my teammates create for me and just knocking them down. And even though he's more a point guard in stature, uh, Greg Sexton more of a flat-out scorer at that point than he is uh, a facilitator. Yeah, and, and Kevin, there's always a place for guys who can put the ball in the basket, especially if they lock in on the defensive end. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Knicks? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. They've got Ricky Rubio. Lowry Markin and is out there with Kevin Love. Then it's Darius Garland. And it's Windler in at the three, the small forward. That's the five for Cleveland right now. The first one falls. And every year we see, Greg, some incredible comebacks. What distinguishes, in your mind, those with the resilience to battle back? I think it starts with a belief and desire. And the great ones truly hate to lose. He hits both from the strike. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Garland looking it over. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Al Fournier. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The rebound by Kevin Love. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Here's Windler, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And Rubio just waiting for the shooter to get open and then gets the assist. Greg, let me tell you a little-known fact about Kevin Love. He played Little League Baseball with Clay Thompson. <laughs> They've been friends since they were eight. Imagine if they were teaming up on the court instead of the diamond. Even at eight years old, that's an inside-out combo that probably could have dominated some high school teams. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Knicks. They pounded the ball inside in the first half forcing the D to collapse and that frees up the shooters going forward. I'm loving the ping pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Fournier against Garland. Love kicks to Markinen. That falls. Great assist by Love. Markinen's got his first bucket of the night. Love has a knack for recognizing when a teammate's going to break wide open. MP outside. Back to Burks. 
it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Rubio against Burks. Love uh, vicious to Garland. Rubio outside. Six to shoot. Three pointer. And he's good on the three ball. Rubio's got his first three points of the game. Getting the feet set. Ricky Rubio can't get in the zone from the three point line. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. After making the finals four straight years from 2015 to 2018, there have been some lean years lately for the Cavaliers. Over the last three seasons, they've only won a couple more games than they did in a single season, the title season of 2016. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff says the losing is tough on everybody, but I look forward to the journey ahead. Kevin, back to you. What do they say, D.A.? The journey is the reward. Thanks. Now, here's Toppin. Pass to MP. Outside Fournier. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Timeout is called Cavaliers. first of the game for the Cavaliers. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout right. the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Assist from Rubio. Allen's got his second basket of the night. And, and Allen's a competitor. He knows what his job is, and he has to be a major presence inside. He, he has to have the ability to score points down low. Now, here's Rose. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Six on the shot clock. Handle with the ball. Guarded now by a Coro. Here's quickly. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Cleveland moving it around. That's a two from Sexton. Randall grabs the board. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. Now, here's quickly. Off the mark from 16 feet out. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of basketball. The drive by Rubio. Mobley kicks to a Coral. Pass to Sexton. Pass to Mobley. From deep. Unable to get that one. The Knicks leading by six. Inside. Rando passes to Robinson. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. A Coro shot is off. From deep. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's New York 
holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We've got more in store for you right after this. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the New York Knicks. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Emmanuel quickly out there with Rose. And it's Barrett at the three. Shot clock at five. There's Rose with the three. It's good from long range. Yeah, Rose, Rose has got the lead up to 11 now for the Knicks. And Rose has shown himself capable of knocking down that three when he's got some daylight. The slam dunk by Garland. And your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the 10. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Now, here is Robinson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And there's Derrick Rose on the assist, assist by Robinson. Robinson. And the Knicks lead by 11. How about that? The big man, Mitchell Robinson, able to find a teammate. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. There's Garland. The slam dunk by Garland. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Rose dishes to Robinson. There's the pass to Quickly. Pass to Barrett. Takes it from 10. Here's Randall. Banked in off the glass. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Garland, the pass to Sexton. Back to Garland. And easy two points on the way. Garland has got six points. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one. Right now, three straight buckets to start the quarter. New York calls timeout. Marketing comes in for Mobley. And a new group in for the Knicks. MPs checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Quickly. And it's Burks in for Rose. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well. Ball snapping and shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Now here's Love. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. The shot by Sexton, no good. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. Goes up on the block. Here's Barrett. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. He's got six. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Outside Garland. Softly drops in the floor. Garland's got eight points. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. To the paint. Here's MP. Plays it up and banks it in. 
assisted. And it's seven RJ points Barrett. for MP. Yeah, you could see that RJ had seen him open earlier and then got in the right spot to deliver. Garland, the pass to Love. Over MP. That one's in there. The New York Cleaners get down to 11 and the bucket from Love. And man, can that guy shoot a turnaround jumper or what? Almost an impossible shot to defend. Here's MP. The layup missed. For Cleveland, they've gone five and six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. And boy, you, you got a hand it to Kevin Love, opening up about mental health, helping to raise awareness on a subject that affects so many around the globe. Yeah, I think both Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan, from the oh, player's probably. standpoint, did a great job of shedding light in that area. But Adam Silver, who himself, who went to a conference and talked a lot about what players are dealing with and how the stresses of social media and the pressures of playing are wearing on them. The league as a whole, players, management, and the commissioner himself have done a great job of providing this kind of safe environment for players to be courageous enough to step out and say, I need help. Shot clock at three. Sexton finds Markinen. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. New York ball. For the Cavaliers, Windler's checked in, and Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. Then for the Knicks, Nerland's Noel comes in for Toppin, and Fournier subbed in for Torrey Cray. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. That'll be a five-second call. A different look now for Cleveland. Jared Allen comes in for Kevin Love. Checking in for the and it's Mobley in for Lowry Markinen. And a switcher also for New York. Manuel quickly. He's checked in for Burks. Back to Rubio. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And there haven't been too many players who've had to prove themselves as much as MP. With all the hype he had coming into the league, he had to go out and make the doubters into believers. Throw good, MP. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Ruby. To the inside, Mobley. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. It's off. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Knicks out front, up by 15. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Cleveland. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Sexton and Okoro are your wingmen. Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. 
and it's Rubio in at the point. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Now here's Mobley. Shot clock at six. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Now here's Barrett. Not a lot of room. That shot no good. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Sexton against Quickly and stolen by Noel. Quickly finds Rose. Passes to Noel. Back to Rose. Pass to Noel. The three. The shot will not fall. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. To the middle. Here's Mobley. Rebound by Rose. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. The pass to Quickly. Kicks to Barrett. Driving inside. Yep, that one goes. And the Knicks lead by 17. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Allen, that's good. Sexton realizing that one of his guys is wide open, and that court awareness, he was able to get it to him. Teardrop shot. Rose, no good. And it's Rubio with the ball for the Cavaliers. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Quickly against Sexton. To the paint, here's Allen. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. One word you can use to describe Jared Allen, Greg, is efficient. He doesn't waste his chances at the offensive end. I mean, like ever. He's very smart with his shot selection, but don't let that take away from his defense. Allen takes a lot of pride in protecting the rim. And the first one at the line is good. Well, the length of Jared Allen is such a huge asset. He's a shot blocker and a rim runner, and that's what people are looking for. More versatility and athleticism from the five spot. Garland has checked in for Ricky Rubio. And New York with a change here, too. MP's checked in for Nerland's Noel. And Allen drops them both. And a throwback sort of game for Allen. Bringing physicality and anchoring the defense. Yeah, and it's weird because the physicality you're talking about, Kevin, isn't so much in him showing brute strength. It might be just physically able to do the things above the rim and in a vertical space that impact the defensive end of the floor. The Cavaliers trail by 13. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Sexton. Knicks with the rebound. Randall's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to MP. To the inside. And Okoro pulls it down. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Sexton against Rose. Now, here's Sexton. Defense is right there, and no good that time. Randall with some nice D. Here's Quickly. Good, and the assist goes to MP. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Sexton up top, quickly covering from the stripe. Sexton can't get that one to drop. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Knicks. The biggest factor tonight had to be their great shooting. They shot much better than the other two. Yeah, they were working hard on both sides of the floor, but that sky-high field goal percentage 
plus the pressure defense to force the other team into a lot of misses. Love the effort tonight. And so the hard work and effort paying off tonight, putting another win in the books. That'll be win number 27. And after dropping game one in this matchup, they managed Julius to take Randall. the second of a three-game season series. No question that's a morale booster. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight for MP. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends. Here's Garland following the basket by Julius Randle. Three on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Here's Mobley, and it's good. With time running down to the shot clock. Textbook feed. From Allen, a big man who helps facilitate the offense. Allen against MP. That shot off. Now, here's Garland. T right on him. Down low, Allen kicks to Mobley. The shot, no good. No problem for New York as they get the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. See you later.
Welcome to 2K TV. Charles Oakley, so excited to have you on today. Now, we talked to a lot of former Well, there's always a little extra motivation for a team playing in front of its own fans. And the Heat definitely look motivated as they came into the building. And a city that never sleeps. Look at the bright lights of Miami spanning for miles. Thanks for joining us midweek here. Tonight, we bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson with you. Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining us tonight, along with the fourth member of our team, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, B.A. The Miami Heat are all about winning. Jimmy Butler said, quote, careers go this way or that, so you never take anything for granted. When you have something, you roll with it. Not waiting for a draft pick. You win now. And I think that's what the Miami Heat is all about right now. Well, Allie, they want to stay in the mix. Good reporting there. And to look at the starters for the Knicks. Inside, we have Randall and Robinson. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Derrick Rose. And it's Barrett in at the small forward position. And for the Heat, inside, it's Adebayo with Tucker playing the four. Kyle Lowry out there with Victor Oladipo. And it's Butler in at the three slot. So off the tip, it is New York. Here's Rose. Pass to Barrett. Right wing. Clock at six. That one rolls around and rims out. Here's Oladipo. Unable to get that one. New York goes the other way with it. It's quickly with a drive. And that one is stuffed right through. Yeah, Julius Randle has a good feel on the offensive end. On time and on target with the pass. And you look at the multitude of ways, guys, in which Randle has evolved his game. Becoming a number one scoring option has to be near the top of that list. Now here's Butler. What a tremendous game he played against the Lakers. Top of the key. No good. Off the front rim. Here's Rose. Count it. One for one to start the game. And now Randall is getting his points from all three levels, Doris. Well, the shooting range and the consistency with range is the biggest change. But this guy has also polished his footwork. He's tightened his handle. Every move he makes now is with a purpose. Here's Adebayo. Following the bucket by the Knicks. Here's Butler. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Don't sleep now. Jimmy Butler will exploit that mid-range game. Outside Barrett. Randall outside. Back to Barrett. Pass to quickly from outside the arc. And Tucker pulls it down. The Heat have gone one of three from the floor. Oladipo finds Lowry. Back to Oladipo. And here's Butler. Oh, there's the alley! And what I love about Adebayo is he picks smart shots to take. Just an efficient offensive player. Outside Barrett. Back to Rose. Pass to Barrett. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Good D by Adebayo. Oladipo. And the basket is good. Oladipo is a star. And he powers through the contact to convert. Quickly outside. Rose. The pass to Barrett. Pass to Randall. Over Tucker. And it's Randall that time. On the assist by Barrett. Boy, I love the confidence Julius Randall has in himself. This guy knows what it takes to score. Oladipo outside. Butler against Barrett. 
Butler can't get it to go. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Randall, the pass to Rose. Quickly with the ball. Back to Rose. One twenty-five left now in the first quarter. Over out of bio. Rose can't connect. The Heat have gone three of six since the tip. Pass to Lowry. The three. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's got three assists tonight. Well, a trifecta from Kyle Lowry. This guy gets great lift on his jump shot. Now a timeout called by New York. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. One thing we know, great teams in the NBA get production off the bench, and that was critical that night. Substitution here for Miami. Deadman's checked in for Tucker. Kennard comes in for Jimmy Butler. Hero, he's checked in for Oladipo. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. Now here's MP. He had nine points in his last time out. Burks finds Craig. MP outside. Hey, expanding his range. Here's Craig. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one falls for Craig. And so Craig nails both of them. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Over to the wing. Adebayo, that's good. Adebayo's got his second basket of the night. And once Bam gets the ball inside, the bucket is almost guaranteed. He's a serious producer in the paint. MP right side. 19 seconds left in the first quarter here. Here's Hero, and he also played really well in the win against the Lakers. Driving inside, and it's rejected. Burks for three. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Heat out in front, they're up by three. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And one of the league's best at drawing charges. Kyle Lowry explains what a difference that play makes. It's a real life momentum. You know, it really boosts myself, my team. And it really takes a lot from the other guys because they think they have a play, a dunk, a pass, an assist or something. And it's like, no, that's not there. And it's a foul on the other guy. Maybe the star player, maybe the shot blocker, maybe anybody. And that's what I do. I do whatever it takes to help my team win. 
Boy, Grant, he's as tough as they come, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he grew up in Philly, idolizing Allen Iverson. Lowry's tenacity and willingness to put his body on the line, actually reminiscent of Iverson's. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. All right, guys, what do you think about the heat here? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. We've got Luke Kennard. Dan Adebayo is out there with Dwayne Dedman. Then there's Tyler Hero, and it's Vincent in at the one. So that's who Miami starts the second with. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, the Heat culture is all about work, and this roster is littered with overachievers. Jimmy Butler said, quote, the Miami Heat look for those diamonds in the rough. Players that are hungry, players that have some dog in them and play for one another. These guys do what it takes to be in the league for a while, Brian. Boy, they compete, right, Ali? Thanks for that. Well, Grant, starting your career in the 50s. Oh, you know what I mean. Actually, 90s. Back then, we'd see teams usually score in the 80s and 90s. What do you think of the current scoring? Really, B.A., the 50s? <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it's crazy. I mean, back then, yes, every game was in the 80s and 90s. Now everyone averages at least 100 points per game. So I think it's been an, an interesting evolution of the game. And, of course, the fans all love offense. And these players and teams today are providing just that. Out of bio. That's good. And you like the balance here, not just falling in love with the three ball. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Burks goes in, uses the glass on the layup. Burks has got his second basket of the game. Well, terrific quickness. The burst of Alec Burks looking strong inside. Now a timeout called by Miami. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. Their first try against a familiar club. It should be a good one. Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Tucker's checked in for Deadman. Jimmy Butler comes in for Adebayo. Oladipo's checked in for Hero. And it's Lowry in for Vincent. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. Now there's an awareness that's required to be a good passer. And Kyle Lowry, he has it. I mean, it is crazy to think how far Jimmy Butler has come. I mean, didn't see a lot of the floor in his first two seasons. Then soon after, he made four straight All-Star games. Robinson. That one's wide left. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Pass to Oladipo. Three-pointer. And Lowry with the bucket on the assist from Oladipo. And it's a six-point heat lead. And Butler in his career, Grant, he won most improved player in 2015. I mean, it's like he became a 20 points per game player overnight. You feel like Butler just needed a chance in the NBA. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, he's made the most of everything he's had. Now here's Rose. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter, but they're starting to pick it up now. Here's Oladipo. The three. And again, Miami with a triple. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Outside Barrett. Lowry against Rose. Pass to Robinson. Randall inside. He's against Tucker. Randall, good. 
Well, Julius Randle knows how to get to the offensive window and create shots. Oladipo outside. Barrett against Kennard. Back to Oladipo. Pass to Tucker. Oladipo outside. Misses the three. New York trailing. Outside Barrett. Forty-three seconds left in the first half. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Good concentration from the man out of Toronto, Ontario, R.J. Barrett. Go ahead with the contact finish. Now here's Oladipo. Fourteen points for him. Last game against the Lakers. Kennard into the lane. That one a little long. For New York, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Rose against Lowry. Rose outside. Here's Barrett. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. And it's now just a one-point heat lead. Well, despite pretty good contest on the interior, R.J. Barrett doesn't back down and makes it look easy. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Heat leading by a point. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You look at Kyle Lowry, he's been playing really well. You know, I'm not really sure what defenders can do to slow him down. He's just too skilled. Well, perhaps the most impressive thing has been his incredible consistency. This guy is a great player who always brings a ton of energy. What a great half. So on the floor for New York, Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. Derrick Rose is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Robinson in at the five, roaming the paint. Known as a shot blocker coming in, Mitchell has added some discipline in that area, Doris. Well, there's no doubt, because if you remember his first couple seasons, he was picking up way too many fouls. This guy is 7'1", with a 7'4 wingspan and elite athleticism. He can stay patient, let the offensive player make his move, and still be in a position to contest. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. The offensive rebound. Out of bio. No good. You've got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Here's Randall. Soft touch off the glass. And now it's a five point New York lead. Well, the defense is smart to get close to Randall, but he powers through it anyway. Ola Depot outside. Butler against Barrett. Pass to Lowry. Back to Tucker. The Knicks pull it in. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Barrett with it. Picked up by Lowry. Barrett can't hit. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Lowry against Quickly. Pass to Butler. Shot clock at six. And here's Lowry from the arc. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Lowry's got nine. Well, this is a quality decision maker in Kyle Lowry. Catch and shoot, no problem. Timeout called. The Knicks. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communication. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail.
And the Heat with some changes. Deadman's checked in for Tucker. Hero comes in for Oladipo. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. Now here's Rose. MP outside. Craig passes to MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. If MP's got a chance to do some damage at the rim, you better believe he's going to take it. He's not a guy who just plays it cool. Here's Vincent. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Deadman. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to MP. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Now you have to avoid being too physical with MP. He just does a terrific job there getting the defense to overcompensate. Good, MP. Well, before MP made it to the league, we all saw his stuff on social media, and it's been fun to watch MP grow over the years. Kennard, he's checked in for Miami. Toppin, he's checked in for New York. Burks comes in for Rose. And both free throws good for MP. Miami has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. And Craig pulls it down. The Knicks have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Vincent. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Kennard outside. Pass to Adebayo. Clock at six. To the left side wing. Here's Vincent. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on MP. At the line, Vincent! Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Quickly is checked in for Fournier. And so he makes both from the line. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. MP against Adebayo. MP. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got rebound number five here tonight. At the line. Kenard! And he drops the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's quickly. 114 left to play in the third quarter here. To the paint. Adebayo against MP. Offensive rebound. Tries again. Drops in the layup for two. MP's got six. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Here's Vincent, defended by Burks. 
Adebayo passes to Hero. Six to shoot. The three ball. It's rebounded by New York. To the middle. MP against Adebayo. Here's Craig. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. You can't leave someone open on MP's squad because he's solid at recognizing the overcommitment. Pass to Deadman. Here's Vincent, defended by Burks. Hero outside. Let's it go from 14. And the jumper falls for him. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. And that'll do it for the third quarter. It's the Knicks up by four. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. What a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Inside, it's Adebayo with Tucker playing the four. Victor Oladipo is out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Hero in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Heat. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Quickly against Oladipo. Pass to Hero. with the block. Well, no easy buckets with Mitchell Robinson in the vicinity. Sends that back with authority. And it's quickly with a miss. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Oladipo finds Hero. Pass to Lowry. Well, that's just mastery of the lead guard position. Kyle Lowry running the pick and roll to perfection. Now a timeout called by New York. Well, it's hard to talk about Lowry without mentioning his fantastic defense. Quick and physical with ball handlers. Tough to back down in the post and just brings the effort on every play. Butler's checked in for Hero. Rose against Lowry. Pass to MP. Kicks it out to Barrett. Now here's Rose. Down to five on the shot clock. Now quickly launches a three. And there's the foul. It'll go on Julius Randle. That's his first foul of the game.
Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Pass to Adebayo. The rebound by MP. They've been grabbing rebounds all game long. To the paint. Knocked away. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Inside. The shot by Oladipo. No good. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. MP with it. Six on the shot clock. Rose against Lowry. Fires it from 18. Hits wide right. Hits off the rim. Miami trailing. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. I tell you, this guy combines crafty moves and an effective shot to attack defenses. Kyle Lowry cooking. MP outside. Randall left side. The shot, no good. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Butler on the wing. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Lowry, no good. The Knicks have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. MP outside. Pass to Randall. Rose outside. Quickly outside. MP up top. Rose outside. Tries to snap the cold streak. And again, the Knicks missing. The Heat have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Butler. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. We know this about Jimmy Butler. The guy has no fear. He delivers when his team needs it. Now a timeout called by New York. We present our New Balance player of the game, Julius Randle. Yeah, he attacked the block all game and has been rewarded for it. The fundamentals that he displayed are why he got whatever he wanted out there on the floor. Hey, let's face it. The defense had no answer for him. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. to MP. Outside Barrett. Quickly with the ball. He's guarded by Oladipo. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. To take the lead. In deep, Oladipo drops it in. And the Heat lead by two. And this is what leaders do. Victor Oladipo says it's my time. Goes with it. He's against Tucker. Count it! And he's tied it up! What a shot! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over.
send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Eric's vocal huddle. He pleaded with the guys to stay composed, saying, quote, don't try to be a hero out there. We've practiced these situations, and we've got to trust one another. If we do that down the stretch, we win this game. Go get it. And Allie, thanks. Now here's Oladipo. Pass to Lowry. Four on the clock. Over the rows. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, he may not have the physical tools that some other players have, but Kyle Lowry is physical. He's imposing his will, and he will take some contact. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that gives him a lead. Boy, when I think of Kyle Lowry as an NBA player, obviously the basketball skill is what has put him into this position. But it's also, guys, sort of the tough-minded nature, his willingness to put his body on the line nightly. They have both been critical aspects to his success. What a joy to watch this guy. And you know what we call him now? NBA champion. Now, this guy has a reputation for being a great free throw shooter. And you've got to knock him down. He does it here. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. MP, the pass to Rose. Step back shot. Missed it. Randall. Oh, wow. A huge basket to tie the game. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Miami calls timeout. It's all tied at 40. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Butler. Oh, no good there. Potential game winner was off the mark. Time expires. We're going to overtime. And we'll be back with you shortly. as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this game. And so off the tip, it is New York. No shortage of excitement here as we're officially underway in overtime. Inside, we have Randall and Robinson. Derrick Rose is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Barrett in at the three, the small forward. Randall can't hit. Miami has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Out to the right wing. For three, Lowry! And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. If you make a mistake against Jimmy Butler, this guy will find a way to make you pay. Pretty pass. Quickly, outside. Pass to Rose. From 11 feet away. 
And too long on the shot. Miami has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Ten feet away. Hero, no good. New York trailing. Quickly, outside. Shoots over Hero. And again, the Knicks missing. And for Miami, they're shooting 40% from the field in this one. Chalk up two there. Lowry's got 20 points. A Lowry letting everybody in the building know if there's a good bucket to be made, get me the ball. About 90 seconds off the clock at extra time now. On the attack, Rose. Shrinks the margin to just four. Well, the knee issues robbed Derrick Rose of some of his athleticism. But maybe more importantly, he lost that development time. Still a big-time player, though, every time he takes the floor. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Dedman. And so Rose knocks them both down. Hey, a steady hand at the line in a tough situation. He narrows it to a one-possession game. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. They're leading by three. A minute 31 left in OT. Time basketball, about a minute and a half played. Here's Butler, buries it down low, and the Heat lead by five. Wow, very close to a potential end one. Butler converting through contact. Now Rose, pass to Randall. That one is off. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Quickly against Hero. Now here's Adebayo. Outside Butler. Back to Adebayo. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Now it's a seven-point Miami lead. And they're building on their lead, doing whatever they can to blow this game open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. And the Knicks call time here. They're trailing by seven. 51 seconds left in overtime.
throws. Money. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. That is unbelievable. One of the best big shot makers this game has ever seen. Pass to Hero. Lowry outside. Here's Butler. Just five to shoot. Here's the floater. He's off on that one. And New York the other way now. First clean look they have. I mean, they've got to take it. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. Kept alive. Outside Barrett. From behind the arc. And they get it back. Quickly, outside. Jacks up a three. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Quickly. So the Heat win it. Things looked a little uneven for them down the stretch, but in overtime, they took control. And B.A., I don't think they expected this one to be so hard fought. But when they went into overtime, they really poured the gas on the fire. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.
Thank you.